responsible for booming out the lower frequency sounds. So, our drum sounds. Then, we've got this elegantly suspended tweeter, and that tweeter chirps out the higher frequency sounds, such as our tempo block. Now, hiding out in the corner over here, we've got our monitor speaker. And the monitor speaker is basically there for the musician to check in to listen if Sideman's actually making any sound. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Darsha, how the heck does a speaker work? Well, I'm so glad you asked because I love talking about speakers. But before we talk about speakers, we must talk about sound. Sound is a mechanical phenomenon that we experience with our bodies. Airwaves perpetuate through space at different frequencies. As they pass us, they resonate within our ears where we interpret them as sounds. Now, quite simply, a speaker is a mechanical device that is used to convert waves of electric current into waves of air so we can interpret the signals generated within a machine as specific sounds. This main part here is the membrane and it's held in place with the surround. This metal part is called the basket and we can look through it and see that the membrane is also kept secure with a fabric suspension. And from the side here we can also see the leads of the voice coil that are connected to the terminals. On the back here, covered in black, is the permanent magnet. If we dissect the speaker by slicing through the surround, trimming off the leads, and tearing through the suspension, we can also see what's going on inside. We can see a little tube here which is called the voice coil former. The wire wrapped around the tube is the actual voice coil and these are the little leads of the coil. This little guy here is a dust cap which keeps the inside nice and clean. Now that whole assembly sits inside a little gap which is the circular space here on the magnet. This is called the flux gap, and in here is the magnetic field we get from the permanent magnet. The whole front unit rides in this space and moves back and forth when there are electromagnetic fluctuations produced by the voice coil. So now that you know the basics about speakers, I wanted to show you one more cool thing about uh, sideman speakers. So this here, if you remember, is the monitor speaker, and I've taken it down for demonstration purposes. It's the same model that we have here for our, um, our little uh, tweeter, and I wanted to show you how beautiful it is. Check it out. It's got this really nice blue permanent magnet, and also it has this shiny blue finish uh, on the basket, which I think is quite beautiful. Now, um, if we look up closely, you can see the detail of it. And this paint finish actually um, was used quite frequently back in the day for industrial metal parts and actually even has a name. It's called the Hammer Tone Paint Finish. And if you look up at the detail, it does indeed look like it has been hammered upon by a little hammer. I know what you're probably wondering. You're probably thinking, gosh, how on earth could the secret life of the sideman monitor speaker get any more fascinating? Well, let me tell you, it's even more of a pearl than you could even imagine. Or if I take my sparkly little speaker knife here and undo the grill, I can reveal yet another hidden treasure. Check it out, people. Underneath, we have a beautiful opalescent speaker cone. It's totally transparent, which means we can behold the beauty of the teeny tiny voice coil on the inside. So fancy. <laughs> <laughs> 